Hey, hey, what's up, Camp Nerd fans? And today we are going to do another tutorial in Android Studio, and we are going to be looking at the themes and your colors and how to change the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project, and it's going to be an empty project, and we're just going to leave this the way it is. You can name it whatever you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Finish, and then this is going to build the repository. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the theme style, which is what I want to show you is in the new Android Studio, when you go to values, you are not going to see styles anymore. You are going to see themes. So I'm going to show you how to use themes and the themes you can get your day and dark mode. But what we're going to do is we're just going to do both to change and also the colors as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring up uh, a few things. We're just going to exit out of that. So we only have colors and our two themes up. Now, before I get into that, let me just show you uh, this right here. If we was to start this, let it run, you're going to see what the color of the background of the application would be. Now, I am in the process of creating a major project right now. It's an app that's going to be rolled out, and I have changed the style and the themes and everything within it as well. Okay, now, as you see right here, it says my application, and that is purple. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to a custom color to where you can have any color you want based throughout the whole entire app. So instead of closing this out, we're just going to go back to Android Studio and click the Stop App button. And that will actually leave this up so it's a lot faster in running whenever we start. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to our Colors XML. All right, these are the colors. Now. We're going to change them to your basic. We're just going to do, uh, let's say, green. And then you can click right here, move the cursor over, and click a green color, like so. All right, then for this one, we're going to put red. And you can do any color you want. I'm just doing this for the example. All right, so we're going to do red like that. Uh, let's put this one as blue. And then we're going to come over here, move it over to blue, click on the blue. Uh, we're going to put this as orange. And then we're going to change that to an orange color, uh, like so. All right, then this teal, we're just going to delete that one. So that way you have six colors. Now, when you go over to your values and your themes, you're going to notice that there's going to be red, white and black. Right here, white and black is going to be there. So you need to add green, red, blue, and orange. But you want to look at it precisely as your primary color. So for our primary color, we're going to do at color forward slash, and then we're going to do blue. All right, and then for your primary color variant, we're going to put this as red. And then you got blue, red, white, and black is already there. You come back over to the colors. We still got to do orange and green. All right, so we're going to go orange. And then we're going to put this as green. 
Okay. Now, you can add more custom colors here. But when you add more custom colors, you have to be sure that you put them in the colors XML right here. So the reason why we deleted that other one is because there were seven colors. And on this theme, there was six colors preset. So now here you have your Android status bar color. Your tools target, this is going to go towards your uh, status bar so whatever color you want right now the color is set to your red because that is the primary variant we are going to leave this as it is just for the moment so you're going to want to highlight and copy all of those and then for the night themes you can go to your colors and declare the night theme part and then you can come over here and add them here later on you can change between light theme and dark theme but we're just going to leave them like this so that way everything runs the way that it's supposed to be so when we run the application let's bring up our emulator you can see that it has changed that to blue and the main color is red so that is our primary variant and then our primary color is going to be this where my application is at so let's say we want to make our primary variant over here we're just going to make it primary so it matches now it's going to throw an error because i did not change the other one uh, so you see this right here is the night theme we don't have that set in yet so we need to come over here to the actual theme which is our day theme and once we get rid of primary the primary variant and just have its primary we run the application and then you see that it comes up and it's all one color. Now in the code, you can change your code and you can have a toggle switch within your settings or wherever to where you can go between each different theme. And we're going to do that in a later tutorial. And so that is how you change your theme colors within your activity main XML and for it to be pushed through your whole entire app. And that is all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those notifications to get more tutorials like this, whether it is in Android or Visual Studios with WinForms, WPF, or UWP. And then also Android, and later on we'll be getting into iOS tutorials. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Now you can change the colors in your application as well. Until next time, we should all keep it nerdy and merry early Christmas or happy holidays or however you look at it. Uh, hope y'all all have a good holiday season, and I will see y'all in the next tutorial. All right, guys, y'all keep it nerdy.